Breaking news. Uh, the president has just tweeted from Air Force One, quote, as I said today and many times before, I have great confidence in my intelligence people. However, I also recognize that in order to build a brighter future, we cannot exclusively focus on the past as the world's two largest nuclear powers. We must get along. Hashtag Helsinki 2018. Uh, Charlie Gasparino back in studio um, and you've been looking at the Sinclair merger, but just quickly on that tweet. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Looking see, forward to him, the future. Did you hear him yesterday? You could call it the UK. You could call it Great Britain. You could call it England. Do you, you could call it the UK and Great Britain and maybe England. Do you understand what I'm saying? You do a terrible imitation of his voice. <laughs> I used to do like it. My old imitation of, of, of Donald used to sound like Jimmy Cagney. Hey, you can call Great Britain. Hey, it could be the UK. God. It's great. It's great. Okay, it's we'll wonderful. Leave it to, do you to understand rich. what I'm saying? It's the UK, who, Great who Britain. Who's the guy who did all that? Rich, hey, hey, hey. rich Little. Let's leave it to Rich Little. Um, <laughs> you want to talk about uh, Sinclair? I want to make fun of Donald. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Listen, I'm back in. T I'm back in town. I'm happy to see you. It's been how long? Too long. Three weeks. Three weeks, and I'm you know without Liz for three weeks is horrible. <laughs> I did give you a hat for as a present from Florence. Um, Enzi. Listen, last week we I'm reported sure. a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, we we killed CNBC over there in uh, Sun Valley. Destroyed them on news. All sorts of news. They were on the inside though. Yeah, right? yeah. And they're you know they they have the place locked down. But you know that's the whole thing. When you're on the inside, you're really you don't have the freedom of doing good reporting, and I think that's the problem that they had. Well, the Allen & Company event invited, I believe, some CNBC talented people. They're in inside. there. No, not some. Like that. Like, I would say about five or six of them. They're in there embedded with Allen & Company, but... You so, broke all the news. I broke all the news. And one of the things we broke was Sinclair, that it was kind of this deal to buy Tribune and create a massive media company that d delivers local, you know, conservative leaning opinion and news on a local level, they would be they would have penetration in 70 percent of U.S. households that, you know, the rubber was meeting the road in terms of the regulatory approvals. They had a tacit approval of the DOJ um, antitrust division. Like, you know, they were they were about to approve them. That's what we reported. Or at least Sinclair believed they had the tacit approval, but they had many other approvals to go. They have a court ruling that they have to get through and a bigger the biggest one, the FCC. And we said that those approvals will be heading out, coming down this week. Well, lo and behold, today they're starting to come down. And the approvals, at least on the FCC side, is not good for this deal. The SEC basically said no go to this deal as it's structured right now. Well, the, the stock is tanking. Sinclair's yeah. down 11 percent yeah. right now. Is it, is it down 11 percent? 11 percent. Uh, it, this, is, this is bad f for the deal. Uh, when the FCC, which even more than the DOJ. I mean, DOJ can say, listen, it's, it's, it's not anti-competitive, mm -hmm. but the FCC says it's illegal based on, you know, the, the current <laughs> communications law. It's done. And that's what they basically said right now. Now, they can go back and fix stuff, but in order to fix it, it, it would just maybe negate doing the deal anyway. So what you have now is this, this, this big media me mega merger, big mega deal, which I'll tell you, a lot of conservative opinion talent was being eyed by these guys. I'm telling you, I'm not going to say names. I'm sure there's people. Does it people... surprise you then that, that Fox, Fox A, 21st Century right. Fox, the parent of this this network, is down? Um, I would have thought that a negative for Sinclair, which um, would have provided competition. I think, it's down, I think it's down on other reasons. And okay. I think it's down because our assets that are being sold to Disney, there's probably not going to be a bidding war on anything but Sky. And that's okay. another thing we, we discussed out there in Sun, Sun Valley and destroyed CNBC on. But this Sinclair deal is, is big. Uh, Justice Department, as we reported, came out with something to say. It came out with something today basically saying, hey, we're looking at it. Uh, that is not the crux. The crux is what the FCC said. And they basically said, no go, and we're going to have a hearing. That's usually a no. No go in hearing means no. Uh, so we're going to see where this goes. Now, do they fix the deal? Do they... I mean, the whole thing is all about ownership and how and how they how they basically got around the ownership cap and can they can they do that in a way that that appeases the FCC? I don't know. A lot of people are talking that Tribune is going to pull out of the deal and try to reach a deal with somebody else. Okay. So stay tuned. This one isn't isn't written yet. Charlie, thank you. Welcome back. Thank you. Can I do my Donald Trump impersonation? No. Hey, That's, this is called the a UK. wrap. <laughs>